Hello, Ewan. From Media Plexus, we are bringing you the NEET PG 2021 analysis. Finally, the most awaited NEET PG 2021 results are out. If we carefully observe the total number of candidates applied at 1,77,283 and total attendance is 1,66,249. So around 11,000 um, candidates are absent and the highest score is 714 out of 800 and the total eight students scored more than or equal to 700. And this time qualifying marks for open category is 302. And the total number of candidates qualified are 83,353. And if we analyze um, the first um, the students who got uh, more than 700 plus, the rank one this time is with 714 and rank two 712, rank three 710 marks, rank four 709, and rank five 706, rank six 702, rank seven also 702, and rank eight 700. These are the two, eight students who scored more than 700. And if you see the range above 700, there are eight students and between 690 to 700, there are 18 candidates with a cumulative 26 people. 680 to 690, there are 28. 670 to 680, there are 66 candidates. And from 660 to 670, there are 115 candidates. And 650 to 660, there are 151 candidates. So those who score 650 and above, are within the ranks of uh, below the ranks of 388 and if you see from 640 to 650 the total number of candidates are 268 630 to 640 is 368 so if you want to get those who got rank below 1000 they should be getting around 639 or 6 I mean at least 630 uh, is the ones who got uh, below rank 1000 this is another important thing and if you see those who got between 620 to 630 there are 461 candidates and 610 to 620 593 candidates and above 600 there are a total of 2700 candidates as you see now okay i'll analyze this and we'll come back from 590 to 600 the total number of candidates are 3666 so if out of 800 out of 800 marks paper, if you if you got like more than 600, that is 75% of the score. I'm not marking about the percentile, but 75% of the score, you, you will be in uh, top 3,600 ranks. And if you see uh, 580 to 590, there are around 976 candidates. 570 to 580, 1,114 candidates. 560 to 570, the 1,298 candidates. 550 to 560, 1404, 15 candidates. So if you score more than 550 plus, your rank is going to be around 8,469 less or equal to that. So for you to be in the most comfortable zone of uh, the seat or rank in the college choice, uh, at least in that league of uh, of having the options of having the college of your choice, you have you have scored at least 550 plus. And if you see another ranges starting from 500 to 550, there are uh, between 500 and 550, there are around um, 7,000 plus candidates. So again, there's a lot of crowding. This particular table, see the how the crowding pattern is there from 700 plus there are eight candidates. From 650 to 700, there are 380. And from 600 to 650, 2,396. 550 to 600, 5,693. 500 to 550, 9,180. It's almost getting uh, more than doubled. 450 to 500, 12,398 candidates. 400 to 450, 15,389 candidates. 350 to 400, 18,000. 302, 302 is our qualifying mark. 302 is 19,834. If you see here, between 600 and 650, for every mark, for every one mark, there are approximately 70 students to 100 students who are comparing. So uh, the tiebreaker based on that is going to play a crucial role. And um, it's very tough. If we analyze see how, what we have done from the results is, this is your tentative. These are your probable ranks. And you can check the roll numbers also simultaneously. So those who got uh, 714 got rank one. So second. So to get a rank below 100, 
the score should be 672. For you to be below rank 500, it should be more than 645 plus. As we mentioned, for the rank below 1000, It is 630 plus you should have scored for your rank to be below 1000. And for those, sorry. For you having to get a rank below 2000, you would have got around uh, 610 plus. For a rank of 3000, you would have got 596 plus. If you've got 596, you will be in below the 3000 mark and now coming to the 5000. See, if you can see, there's a lot of crowding. Like every mark, there are almost like uh, um, 100 students, one students, and it keeps increasing as the uh, the scores are decreasing. The number of people who are crowded or that the cluster formation is very high. The probable reason for that is um, the exam was relatively easy when compared with last year. And uh, first of all, hearty congratulations for all those who got. Um, the good ranks which can help which can fetch them um, a seat into their colleges of choice and branches of their choice and to be in the comfortable range above that 550 mark is what we are taking up for this 550 score 8469 is the rank and to get a rank below 10,000 your score should have been at least See a lot of crowding and cluster formation between with the, on a single mark. To get a rank below 10,540 plus. You should have got at least 540 to get a rank below 10,000, uh, which is a very high um, percentile like um, for a neat examination compared with the years. But again, uh, paper being relatively easy when compared with the previous years this happened and i just want to i just want to end saying two things one first of all hearty congratulations for those who cleared the examination who got the ranks of their choice and second for those who didn't get the ranks of their choice please don't uh, be demotivated and um, just pick yourselves up again start preparing from tomorrow and just analyze where you have gone wrong and how best you can improve and Again, the next 45 days, there's one more golden opportunity for, for you on November 14th in the form of INS examination. And don't even think we didn't fare well in NEET examination. Can we really do that in INS examination? No, please don't think about that. There we, I know a handful of people who uh, fared very poorly in NEET examination and then the immediate examination, they, might, they got uh, double digit ranks in INS examination. It's just that one particular day. You can't judge yourself. Please don't judge yourself based on the single day which happened on uh, don't assess your entire one or one and a half years of, of uh, preparation based on the three and a half hours you sat on September 11th of 2021. No, it's not the thing. Just trust yourself and trust your preparation and again start preparing fresh and consolidate and uh, attend the examination, INSA examination with um, lots of positivity. And the NEET 2022 examination we are expecting in the month of uh, March or April. So it's hardly six more months. Again, it's another golden opportunity. So be focused and don't get demotivated and you just relax for a day or so and again, start start preparing. Uh, as the results are already out, you can't change the results. From here on, how you move defines how you're going to, uh, what you're going to achieve in the future. Okay, all the very best guys. Um, don't get demotivated. We'll, we are here to help you out and we'll um, come up with something which will be uh, advantageous for you. Okay, all the very best.